So to mirror this car, we're going to go to Create, go down to Mirror, and you're going to select the thing that obviously you want to um, mirror. So you want to select this half of the car, and then we have to select the mirror plane. So we're going to click here, and we need to select the middle of the car. So you can do that here, or you could rotate it around if you want to see it. Select this half here. All right, and then obviously it's going to mirror from that plane there. So um, wherever obviously you select, it's going to mirror from the opposite side. So as you can see in the preview, you have a complete car. So we're going to press OK. All right, and now if I just move around it, all right, you can see that's completely done now. So you've got a standard car ready to go. All right, um, we're just going to do a few other things to obviously get the wheels and stuff on as well. So before we do any of that, we're going to make sure that we save this model. So if you haven't done so already, just click on save. All right, then I'm just going to call this one standard car. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Go save. Okay, now that's saved, so it's all good to go. All right, another thing that's a good point to sort of keep in mind, especially if you're doing competitions, um, it's always good to go through and name your sketches. So. You know, this one here, for example, you could go right click and go rename. And we could call this one um, canister housing. All right, you can go through and rename the sketches. So this one here could be car body. Oh, just try that again, sorry. Car body. Just press enter. That's better. All right. And you can go through and start to name all the other ones. So um, it's a good thing to start doing. So at least that way, if you ever need to go back to a certain sketch, you know straight away what that sketch is. Okay, same as your extrusion. So down here, all right, you've got a whole um, timeline of everything that you've done. All right, obviously, the mirror was the last thing that we just did. All right, but you could go through and like some of these, like that one there's and obviously the axle holes. So I'm going to right click, rename, and you can call this one axle holes all right so it is good to go through and to start um going yeah start na renaming everything um so yeah whenever you're working on your car you know exactly all right this is the extrusion i need to go to all right these are the sketches i need to get to um to do certain things with your car all right so the next thing we need to do is find our grommets and um wheels all right to start putting onto the car so First of all, we have to import them into Fusion 360. All right, now for you guys, if you go to File Explorer, all right, so just open up File Explorer, um, and then you're gonna have to go to this PC. All right, when you scroll down, there's um, this called R Curriculum. So just double click on that. You're gonna have to scroll down to STEM and STEAM. And in the Year 9 folder, um, you'll find the wheels, axles, and grommets. I also think in the year seven folder, yeah, you've got wheels, axle, grommets there as well. So um, depending on what year you're in, obviously you can yeah choose either one, doesn't really matter. All right, so we'll go to year nine, do the wheels, axles, and grommets. Okay, and now you can see that we've got, um, yeah, everything in here. So we've got the wide wheels, which go at the back of the car, and the narrow wheels that go at the front. All right, and the only other thing that we'll add to this is obviously the uh, grommets as well. Okay, now to do this, we'll go back onto um, Fusion, and we need to go to File, Open, and then go Open from My Computer. So we'll go the exact same path that we just went in before. All right, so we can go R Curriculum, go down to STEM and STEAM, We'll do the year nine folder, go to the wheels, axles, and grommets. And then I'm going to select the axle grommet first. So I'm going to click open. Now, this will take a little while for it to upload into Fusion. You'll get a little notification that pops up over here. Um, so I'll pause the video for a second, and once that appears, then I'll restart. All right, so that took about a minute um, to appear. So there was a little notification just here two seconds ago. All right, there it is. Um, so it just says that the grommet has now been uploaded. So if I click on open, yeah, so 
there was about a minute worth of waiting just for that to upload so just be prepared for that all right so now i've got the grommet here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to save it okay i'll just keep the same thing i'm going to put it in the admin project area as well i'm just going to press save so now i've got this saved on my system so i can access that whenever i need to all right so you're going to do the exact same thing now for the wheels um, of the car as well so file open open from my computer okay and then i'm going to open up the narrow wheel this time all right i'm going to pause the video and i'll get it once it's uploaded okay so that's ready just here so i'm going to click open So it might be a little bit quicker on your computers, but yeah, for mine it's a little bit slow. So, all right, so I've got the grommet here, got the wheel. All right, now I need to save this wheel. So I'm gonna go save and just go save again. All right, so that's done. Now, same thing, I need to do the last wheel as well. So open from my computer and I'm gonna go to the wheel wide. Okay. All right, so the wide wheel is now ready. So I'm going to open that up. All right, so it should be black in color. All right, so we're going to save this one as well. Save. Awesome, so now we've got our wide wheel, the narrow wheel. We've got our grommet ready to go. And obviously you've got your cart. All right, so um that's all you need for now to get that all up and running okay uh, what we're going to do in the next video is actually start bringing like the grommet onto the car all right and then assembling it all together okay so um all you need at the moment is obviously to get um yeah all these parts saved so when you go into your um, data panel all right you should have access to all of your um, gear that you've got there okay all right, so I'll leave that for this video and we'll um, yeah, start doing the assembly next video.